Today we're going to be talking about the Overhauser Magnetometer. Our Overhauser Magnetometer is our mid-ranged magnetometer suitable for many applications in the earth sciences, including mineral exploration, oil and gas exploration, archaeology, as well as UXO detection and characterization for military purposes. The Overhauser Magnetometer is a special magnetometer in that it uses a free radical mixture of liquid that allows us to energize the system with very low power consumption, meaning that your batteries will last a long time in the field. It also boasts high sensitivity, good absolute accuracy, and high gradient tolerance. In the rest of this video, we'll be looking at how to configure the magnetometer, how to take it out of the box, and how to set up for a survey. Inside the shipping case, we have the components for the system. First, we see the cabling that goes from sensor to the console. Then we see the sensor up at the top left. Next, we see the battery charger used for charging the console. In the pocket below, we see several other cables, one for a battery connection and one for a USB connection. Below those cables, there is a converter from USB to serial so that you can acquire your data from the computer. Next, we see the console. The console handles all of the recording functions for the system. Next, we see the GPS antenna. And the last components in the box are the shoulder strap, as well as the manual and software disk that comes with the system. Lastly, we have the extender poles that allow the system to be adjusted to particular heights, or you can use the system in a stationary mode as a base station. Now we are ready to configure the system for survey operation. Currently we are looking at the GPS screen. We've initialized the GPS which needs to be done every time you move to a new survey area. This can take 10 to 15 minutes to do, but we have already done this here so it is not necessary to repeat this step. Now we are going to move on to the configuration steps using the survey menu. We first select A, Survey, to get into the survey menu. Once we are in the survey menu, we select the type of instrument that we have. In this case, we are using the walking system, which is a nearly continuous system, so we initialize that. Then we move on to the cycling time. The magnetometer can cycle up to 60 minutes. And here, we are going to set it to cycle at a lower frequency. The next step is to press F to start the survey. The magnetometer will now go through a sequence where it tunes itself much like how a radio receiver tunes itself to a radio station. The console tunes itself into the right frequency and can now take the measurement. This takes a couple of seconds, then on to our final function, which is to press C, walk, which will start the survey, and away we go measuring readings and obtaining high quality results. By now you've seen pretty much everything there is to see about the Overhauser Magnetometer. We've seen some of the theory, some of the applications for mineral exploration, oil and gas exploration, archaeology, and also in military applications for detecting unexploded ordnance and buried ordnance that is harmful. And as well, we have seen how to unpack the magnetometer and how to start using it.